Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And tonight we're going to be talking about perceived value. What exactly is perceived value? Perceived value is basing value on something, um, on an assumption, okay? In other words, um, a lot of times we will see things and we make an assumption about what we see and whether we know the facts to it, the ins and outs, the ups and downs, or any of that we perceive what we feel like the value is, right? This is why when you are single, nobody's checking for you, right? When you're single, the reason nobody's checking for you is because there is no perceived value. People only want what they feel like other people want. That's just the truth. Have y'all ever heard of that before? Like, when I was single all this time and I wasn't moving and shaking, nobody wanted to be bothered. As soon as I got with somebody, it's like, here go, here go everybody. What's up, big head? Hey, stranger, how you doing? And all of this kind of stuff. That normally goes on. That is called perceived value. The reason why when you are in a relationship and other people desire you and you become more desirable is because most times, especially today with social media, our relationship is literally put out to the public and we give them a blueprint. In other words, the blueprint is if you are in a relationship with me, this is what it's going to look like, right? If me and you together, this is what it's going to look like. This is how I date. These are the places that I like to go. These are the places that I like to eat. This is how I like to treat the person that I'm with. These are the things that me and the person that I'm with, this, these are the things that we like to do. Am I making sense? Just give me some feedback. Let me know if what I'm saying is making sense. And what happens is other people see the blueprint of what it would look like being with you. And here they go sliding, right? Now, the thing is, these people may have had access to you at one point in time. But for whatever reason, it may not have worked. You may not have matured. You may have a different job at that point in your life. And today you upgraded doing something different. You uh, you might have bought some sense along the way and now you're doing things better. However it goes, there is a perceived value when you are already with someone, right? That's just the way it goes. I'm going to log out on this and come back in and see if it will allow me because for whatever reason, it is not allowing me to see y'all comments if y'all are actually commenting. Um... So I did a toy dash on yesterday and the young lady, she was very young and she was like, my friends say that you be bragging. And I was like, pardon me, bragging? Yeah, because every time you look up, you posting uh, you and your man and you be putting my man, my man, my man. And they were saying that they just feel like you bragging. And I'm like, well, you know, my page is about relationships. My page is about love and it's definitely about sex. Um, and being that I'm the type of person in order for me to give myself to you in a certain type of way, a lot of times it has to be something there. And because I teach my life, I just put it out there exactly what's going on. Like, in other words, I don't have to go and look for a lesson. I don't have to go and look at another content creator. I don't have to go and do all of these different things. I just teach my life. I teach exactly what I have going on. That is what I do, right? Hold on. These people texting about toy dashes and stuff like that. But just pay attention. When you are single, nobody's nobody. Don't nobody want somebody until they see somebody else with them. Okay. I'm not saying that my situation is different. I'm more of a, a pseudo celebrity, a public figure, whatever you want to call it. So locally, I am desired by a lot of men, but not necessarily for the right reason. Like if we're going to have a conversation, we're going to keep it 100 most men that approach me, they approach me because they want to fuck, you know, and this is what I know, right? So I'm never really interested in every now and then I will run into a man that is a gentleman who literally has no knowledge of who I am, don't know what I do, not really on social media, not really moving around in the circles that I move around in and they show interest. 
And at the end of the day, I'm always looking for customers. So, of course, I'm like, have you ever tried, honey? Because just because you're meeting me, that don't make me feel like you're not fucking. I always feel like everybody fucking. So, when you trying to meet me and you on some, you know, me and you type of shit, I already got something going on with somebody. So, I be like, shit, you, you ever tried, honey? And a lot of times, I give them a honey pack to try and give them my contact information. and be like, if you liked it and you want some more, call me and I'll bring you some more, you know. Call me or I could give you my website and you can order some more. In other words, when they come at me, I'm constantly networking. I'm, I'm hustling. That is what I'm doing. And believe it or not, because I am hustling, that is an attraction to a lot of people, men, period. Men, even though I'm a feminine woman and I carry myself very feminine, I am very direct with my approach. And it's, it's no secret that I'm hustling. Like, I'm, I'm trying to bag you as a customer. I ain't really interested in your dick, but I'll make sure your dick working for somebody else. And I don't have a problem with talking about it, right? So, with that being said, that is what perceived value is. And a lot of times, that is what, you know, we experience when we're dealing with people. Those people don't have no genuine interest in you. They have an interest in wanting to, to see themselves in your life the way the other person is in your life. In other words, them men ain't got no interest in me. They just want to be where this other man is. Them women ain't got no interest in, in, in your mind. They just want to see themselves in your house. They want they see how he didn't bought you a car. They want to see themselves driving a car like that. They want to see themselves going on trips and shit like he take you on trips. There is, in other words, they're not looking at it to say, what can I add to this person? Or what can I do to make us great together? Or we will, we will look good together as a couple. No, they are looking at it as, how can this benefit me? And that's where perceived value comes in. And that is why when you're with someone, other people start checking for you because you basically giving them the blueprint to how you do relationships, how you do dating, what it looks like when, yes, when we date, no, yeah, we real active. We moving around. We we doing shit. You know, it, it's, it's on Instagram. It's on Facebook. The world is seeing it, right? So quite naturally, it makes people want to jump in your inbox, jump. And, and make phone calls that they hadn't made in a long time. All of that kind of stuff. That's what goes on. So, just know that if you are on my page and follow my platform, that my platform is about relationships, love, and sex. That is what it has always been about. Even when I was married for 23 years, it was about relationships. And I talk more about monogamous relationships, more the things that you do when you're a wife. Um, those type of things. Th that's what I talked about because that's what was going on in my life at the time. Um, and of course, sex, right? At this point in my life, I'm talking about relationships, but what it looks like with me dating. What a dating relationship looks like with me. How we are actually merging our friend circles together. Um, how we um, have two d totally different sets of interests. However, we are blending our interests. Like this Friday, I'm going to see wrestling for the very first time. This was his Father's Day gift. Um, but I've never been into wrestling, never followed the, the people in wrestling, never did any of that. But, you know, because you new man, new hobby, new whatever, you start learning new things. So this Friday, we're going to see wrestling and that's something that he would be interested in. But the following Friday after that, we have something else planned, more of something that I'm interested in. So you get to see the blueprint of how people date. Y'all, y'all know I love to cook. You know, Ashley Domain gets on me all the time. She gets on me all the time about doing all that cooking. But the thing is, I actually enjoy cooking, and now I have somebody to cook for again. I'm, I'm practically an empty nester. Madison is not interested in eating my home-cooked food. Madison want wings. Madison want, um, you know, the, the spicy bowls and all of this kind of shit. Madison ain't interested in me cooking no roast and smothered potatoes and green beans and all of this kind of stuff. But my man is interested in me cooking it and I love to cook. So guess what? It does not bother me to literally get up every day and prepare a new meal. But keep in mind, my lifestyle is different. I have the time to be able to do that. I get up at like four o'clock in the morning most times. You will see me up posting. I'm up, I'm working out. By the time I come from working out, by nine o'clock, my food done for the day. My lifestyle is different. Some of y'all are literally getting up to go and clock in and going to somebody's job. So it may not be uh, easy for you to be able to cook every day. So it might be something else that you have to be able to do. But when I taught wife school, I taught all different types of other things that you can do. Um, even if you wanted to 
have home, home cooked food every day. I did crock pot meals, 30 minute meals. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I've done all of that. I've, I've taught it all. But right now I'm teaching what it looks like in a dating relationship and what and, and letting people know that if you are in something, I'm talking about a relationship, marriage, long term, whatever, and it's no longer serving you, right? A lot of times people love to say the grass ain't green on the other side. The grass ain't greener. No, the grass is greener wherever you water it. I don't care if it's on this side or the other side. Wherever it's being watered at is where the grass is going to be greener at. I want you to remember that because people say things like that to you as a scare tactic to make you hold on and latch on and keep going and putting in another year and another year and another year. And before you know it, your life has passed you by. You haven't done shit and you're very unhappy. Your needs are not being met. You, you're more stressed out. You become angry. You become bitter. All of this is, has happened, right? I'm grateful that I was in a marriage and I had a great marriage. I didn't have a lot of issues in, uh, in my marriage, but we did have one issue that was a really big issue. And I just decided that this is not what I want to do anymore. Like this is not serving me or you at this point because this issue has changed you into another person. And because you have changed into another person, I refuse to let it change me into another person. Because I want to be who I am. I want to be able to, I want to, I don't want to be in a relationship with anybody and I'm upset, aggravated, stressed, frustrated every day. I want to be in a relationship where I can love up on you, where I can pour into you, where I can be who I'm supposed to be to you, right? So when you see that you're in a relationship and that is no longer happening, because the one thing that I told daddy, if there's ever a point where we are no longer serving each other, then we got to come to the table and have a conversation. Because we don't have to do this. You don't have to be in anything when you where it's no longer serving either person anymore. I I will never stay in anything an uh, an extended period of time that I don't need to be there. I'm not. In other words, if it ain't working and ain't serving, we just gonna shake hands and part ways and go and do what we need to do to make ourselves happy. Because my thing is, I bring my happy self to this every day. Every day I wake up, I bring my happy self. I make a choice to love you. It's a choice. That I get up every day willingly making a choice to love you. I walk into love willingly. It ain't about me falling in love. I'm not no I'm not no high school girl with a damn high school crush or all that other shit. The, the whole rom the idea of romantic love and falling in love. No, no, no. I'm a grown woman at 42 years old. I wake up in the morning. I make choices. So I make a choice to get up and love you. Right? So at the end of the day, when, when we wake up and we're no longer making this choice to love each other and we start treating each other poorly, that lets me know that we need to bid each other a farewell and go on with our lives. Um, I want to make sure that, okay, I don't see any comments. I'm just making sure. Um, so with, with that being said, I tell y'all all the time, people stay too long. I don't want to stay nowhere too long where it makes me a better person to where, when other people on the internet post and I can't even be happy for them. I, I told y'all this earlier today. People they don't people don't care about seeing you happy. They want to see you happy. They just don't want to see you happier than them. That's the thing. They don't want to see you moving and shaking more than them. They don't want to see you going on the trips and going through this and going through that because they're not. They don't want to see y'all going out trying different restaurants and all of this shit because they're not. For whatever reason, that them and they may ain't doing it or they may not have a man at all. Or them and they old lady ain't doing it. Or they may not have an old lady at all. Whatever it is that ain't necessarily going the way they want it to go in life, it bothers them to see you doing it. Yeah, they want to say that they're happy for you, but you just can't be happier than them. Right? So, that's how that goes. Um, Today, and this is our Sunday special. I put the link at the top of the uh, video. The double bullet and the WAP is $30. Now, this toy by itself it's $27.99 on the website. This WAP gummy is $20 on the website by itself, right? This sale ends tonight at 12 a.m. Uh, th this is my Sunday special. Every Sunday I will have a Sunday special. It will be a different Sunday special. This Sunday special been rolling since yet last night. So it literally, the sale went up last night and people started ordering. But a lot of times y'all are not seeing my content, not seeing my videos. So you, you don't know that I even have a Sunday special going on. So again, this double bullet, and I did a video last week on all the different ways to use the double bullet, whether it's with um, a heterosexual couple, whether it's with a lesbian couple, whether it's with um, 
two men, a gay couple, or whether you are into threesomes or you have a throuple, I have given you specific directions on how to use this double bullet. And of course, this white honey is just to be able to heighten that thing up. Because see, last week, I did the pink pussy, pink pussy cat gummy, right? Well, this week, because I have a really active week this week. Hold on. Y'all drinking y'all water? Drink y'all water, mind y'all business. All right. I have a really active week. Um, Thursday, I don't know if this Thursday going to be our last spade party because uh, daddy goes back to work. Uh, he teaches. Um, he's a dean of students. He got all kinds of shit going on. Uh, so when the school year starts back, I don't think we're going to be continuing the Thursday night spade party. But uh, I like to turn up. So I'll be taking this um, on Thursday. We got day night on Friday. Um, and I hopefully he didn't work a lot of this up out of my system because the last time I took the gummy, it was day four and it was still in my system. So I've taken this before. Uh, it's been a while since I've taken it. So I have a new review about how it's working at this point in my life, you know. And a lot of times we don't understand. Like even with me, I've lost weight since the last time I took this. Um, I'm 70 pounds lighter. So even with me not having as much body fat, that can impact the uh the strength of this uh uh wop honey in the way my body um processes it questions concerns or comments perceived value that's what we talked about today perceived value people not wanting something until they see somebody else with it they don't see the value in nothing until they see you with it and i'm gonna tell you something because you know i love my friends to death right but and i don't use the term friends loosely but one of them was just basically like, you know, I just thought you would have picked somebody different for your image. And I'm like, what do you mean picking somebody different for my image? What What is it about my image? And it was basically like um, somebody that, you know, likes to get dressed up because I'm a, I am like to dress. Like, you know, I'm about to go inside and literally swap up and do a whole paparazzi live uh, opening up my box of stuff. Um, I like to dress. I like to go. I'm outside, I'm moving and I'm shaking, whereas the man that I have chosen to be a part of my life is very laid back. He loves his slides. Um, he don't ever have to put on clothes if he don't have to. Um, he's a homebody. He will go out, but his comfort is at home. Um, so basically, I picked somebody that was the completely opposite of what people thought I would have picked. Um, and my thing is, I always tell people, I don't need somebody on 10. I'm already on 10. I wake up in the morning on 10. Like, I'm literally running around with all kind of shit going on, full of energy every day. I'm very high energy. Whereas the person that I, I, I selected is very calm. And what I know for me is I need somebody to be a calmness to me to be able to balance that high energy. Because if I'm high energy and I got somebody else that's high energy, uh, that's just like a woman was like, oh, I'm a hustler. So I'm looking for a man that's a hustler too. Y'all not going to do good together because y'all both going to be in hustle mode and y'all not going to have time to be able to balance each other and spend time because both of y'all going to be in grind mode the whole time. No, I need something different, the opposite, something that's going to pull me and calm me down. And when it comes time for me to relax, somebody that knows how to be able to nurture me and, re and, and relax me, right? So yeah, I might not have picked what most people would have thought I would have picked, but I picked what I knew that I needed for myself. Um, and I didn't necessarily need somebody that, that want to look like they're walking down, down the runway every day just because I'm looking uh, like a fashionista. I don't need a man. I don't, I don't need no sassy nigga. I don't. I, I don't need that. You know, I just need you to be a good one. Be a good man. Uh, you ain't got to be sassy. You ain't got to be no metrosexual. You ain't got to be going around like getting your feet did and pedicures and uh, manicures and uh, body waxing and all this. I know I ain't never said I needed that ever. Um, but you know, to each his own, right? So again, don't forget to take advantage of this bundle. The link is at the top of the comments. I put the link up there. I'm going to actually put the link again. Thank y'all for tuning in. All right. That is going to wrap me up for tonight. I'm about to get ready to go live in the Feminine Touch. Um, and I'm about to do my unboxing 
uh, with my paparazzi kit. And I'm gonna get to I'm gonna talk to you all over on that side, on the feminine touch side, and let you know why I chose to actually take advantage of the opportunity and do paparazzi. All right, I'll see y'all on the other side.